More than 100,000 flights leave the ground every day around the globe. Over a quarter of those, 27,000, take off in the U.S., carrying nearly 2 million passengers and 50,000 tons of cargo. This number is only expected to grow, but the infrastructure the industry relies on is increasingly out of date. In the last decade, capital investment in American aviation infrastructure has fallen substantially, from $21 billion in 2004 to $13 billion in 2014. Those cuts result in delayed flights and congestion, causing gaps in the supply chain for nearly every business, which in turn creates a drag on the economy. If current federal funding levels are maintained, the cost to the overall economy will rise from $34 billion in 2020 to $63 billion by 2040. More investment is needed. American carriers are doing their part to update aging fleets, but airports are aging rapidly and the air traffic control system hasn't seen a major update since the 1970s. China's airports, on the other hand, can handle much more traffic because of the country's infrastructure investments. Shanghai alone handles 70 million passengers a year, and Beijing even more. At the end of September 2015, Congress passed a short-term FAA reauthorization to keep passengers and goods flying but lawmakers have yet to draft a long-term vision for how aviation infrastructure will change to meet the rising demand. They need to, because more investment in airport and air traffic modernization allows for more planes to fly more goods and passengers, leading to greater economic growth. To learn more about this and other critical aviation issues, visit cit.com forward slash view from the middle.